It's Deborah Tavares, and I'm filling in for Dr. Deagle today, and it is um, Monday, June the 17th, 2013, and we've got lots of very, very important occurrences happening here in Northern California. I'm also going to be going over some source documents that we have on our website, so everyone be prepared to take some notes and or to download this program um, when it's concluded today. Uh, the main website for uh, all of our source documents and information is stopthecrime.net. Think of a net and crime, stopthecrime.net. We do have other websites as well that have different, um, uh, very, very important um, information loaded up on those as well. We have refusesmartmeters.com. The sister site for that is smartmetersmurder.com. Uh, also, go to toxicsky.org where we have some very, very important uh, recent coverage of the Oklahoma tornadoes and all of the um, massive engineered weaponized attacks on uh, that area. Also, we have toxicdrinkingwater.org. I'm going to just take a moment to let you know uh, what is happening here in Northern California with the disguise um, by major universities of the geoengineering or the chemtrailing program, so you'll know to watch for it where you are and to share this information as far and wide as you can. This is absolutely a nationwide alert. Uh, we now have major universities teaming up with Google Earth to identify if your property is infected with sudden oak death syndrome and they are requiring the use of GPS coordinates to identify people's property. What has happened here uh, in Northern California, uh, there was a uh, rendezvous with um, UC Berkeley uh, local citizens that have been conscripted to help collect infected uh, tree material that have been infected from the overhead aerial dumps of all the pathogens and molds and mildews. And Berkeley, of course, uh, partnered up with the United Nations, a.k.a. Uh, Future Earth, and it is a scheme behind misdiagnosis scam to identify tree disease to cover up the geoengineering program. Just like the geoengineering program, Berkeley is funded by the military, the globalist, and the World Bank. In, in addition to the damage of plant life from the toxic dumps, the geoengineering has increased uh, also with the plant devastation, our increased uh, frequencies, and they're killing all plant life. The cell phone towers, which everyone needs to go to antennasearch.com and find out where the cell phone towers and antennas are located in your neighborhood. These are weapons. The new weapons of wars are not bullets. They are frequencies, and we'll be talking about that on the source documents a little bit later. But the cell phones have been disguised. They have been um, strategically located for maximum coverage and frequency uh, attack, essentially. And they're being disguised in church steeples, in chimney stacks, uh, on, on and around uh, water towers. They're even inside some of the mobile gas signs that are in gas stations. You'll also see them disguised in uh, poles that are normally light standards in parking lots with uh, planted vegetation. You'll notice one light standard will be thicker and fatter, and it won't be a light at all. So what is happening here that uh, Berkeley, UC Berkeley, and also our master gardeners have teamed up with Berkeley on the misrepresentation of the facts about sudden oak death. Here uh, in California, a variety of oak trees are just falling over. This has been happening now for a number of years. And all of a sudden now, Berkeley has claimed that they know what it is, they say it's a mold, and they say that uh, it is spread by wind, and there is a host plant called the California Bay Laurel. And they're telling us to chop down and chop off our bay laurels, but we cannot remove any debris from our properties. They say that we must collect all this debris on our properties because we'll spread this infestation.
And uh, they say that the ideal climate is wet, mild, and 66 degrees. And the pathogen grows in May and June in Northern California along the coastal region. They're identifying the region, uh, 14 coastal regions from Monterey, California, and on up to Southern Oregon as being identified as areas where uh, these varieties of oak trees and laurels are infected with, they call it SOD, for sudden oak death, which is, again, a mold. Uh, and as I said, UC Berkeley has teamed up with uh, ma the Master Gardeners and Google Earth to collect data and chart, and chart on Google Earth the locations on private properties, public land, open space, where the sudden oak death infestation is found, and also to note where it is not infected yet. And you can go to uh, our website, which will have this posted later today, under Nationwide Alert, Major University Teaming Up with Google Earth, to identify if your property is infected, and it will be posted on StopTheCrime.net. This is a meeting that we just attended uh, this past uh, Saturday. And it was quite shocking, and we were told many, many uh, actually really shocking things by the master gardeners that are, uh, were up there giving us this information. What uh, we were told is that um, uh, it, it has uh, been, been brought in to the United States or the Western Hemisphere from Southeast Asia by rhododendrons. And, of course, that is a cover story and disguises the reality and effects of the global geoengineering program. You can go to agriculturedefensecoalition.org for facts about what is happening to our agriculture. What is very, very important is that um, they say that the perimeters of this defined uh, weather area where the mold are being defined uh, is, seems to not be only in the, in the coastal areas, that it could be going inland as well. And what they asked was for the local citizens, the neighbors, to uh, go around this past weekend, Saturday and sun Sunday only, was a, a designated collection period of what we would deem uh, infected trees with SOD, and we were to tag those trees and take samples. The data collection uh, uh, campaign was promoted as a citizen's science project, and we were being conscripted to identify as many uh, symptomatic and unaffected trees in as many areas within a two-day period only. And then after gathering this evidence as stipulated in these packets that we received from UC Berkeley, um, that were, they were collection material packets, which included a discussion on how you uh, implement the GPS location requirements of the infected sample areas. And once you have the leaf samples, they would then be um, delivered by the master gardeners to UC Berkeley's lab and uh, then determined if those trees, in fact, were infected. At that time, Google Earth would then show infected areas. Uh, what was very concerning, of course, is that they conscripted uh, neighbors to go in on neighbors' properties. And I'll finish this discussion up on the other side of the break. counties in Northern California. It has multiple layers of disinformation attached to it. First, it is a cover, a misrepresentation of the facts of how this uh, sudden oak death syndrome is actually occurring. It is from the geoengineering toxic uh, dumps of uh, poisons uh, as well as molds, mildews, and funguses. The sudden oak death syndrome has now been defined as a mold. And uh, what I was saying earlier is this is a pilot program in California for the rest 
rest of the nation. Essentially, what we were told at these meetings is that as you go in and identify infected uh, trees and or plant material, you must use bleach and a brisk brush to wash off your shoes. If you're on a bike, you must wash off your wheels. If you're on, in a car, you must wash off and disinfect your car wheels because this infestation transfers and you can spread it just by uh, your tools uh, and walking, etc. And what this, of course, is is ultimately a program that will restrict and limit public access to uh, public lands. People will obey uh, for fear of spreading this contamination to other areas and will relinquish access to parks and all areas that are deemed contaminated. Don't fall for this. The globalist motto is fear. Everything is couched in creating massive fear to uh, create blind compliance by all of us. And then propaganda, misinformation, make-believe stories. They are lying, of course, to all of us. The, uh, this program is not only a disguise for the geoengineering. We were told in the Iron Mountain uh, report that they would deforest us with mass pollution. They are. Their plan is working. Go to stopthecrime.net, uh, go to the source tab, and read the source documents, the report from Iron Mountain, the Silent Weapons, Quiet Wars, the New World Order Exposed, and the most recent post of the NASA war plans, and we'll get into some of this information. But this um, uh, sudden oak death and the um, convergence of major universities with your master gardeners is going to be what you're going to see in your town. It just won't be sudden oak death. They'll assign another tree that will be dropping as a result of these poisons. What was really startling at this meeting uh, was they told us uh, that 100% of all native plants will likely be infected. They also told us not to collect uh, leaves and in infestated uh, material, plant material from federally owned property or county parks and state parks because they didn't want us on the properties to collect that kind of information. We were also informed that sudden oak death was found in Golden Gate Park in San Francisco. They told us upon investigation, they located an infected plant in new landscaping in a yard uh, from a home across from the park. And when the owners were told that the plant was then removed, of course, we asked, what does this mean? Will areas be restricted from public access in order to prevent the mold from spreading? These questions were avoided or unknown at the time. Of course, they know exactly what they're doing. They told us that once you have mold uh, and this infestation on your property, you are infected, and that is that, until they find some remedy. But of course, they know it's coming uh, from the skies and being dumped on us. So we are in great danger. This is multifaceted. This is land restriction, ultimately land theft, and this is uh, a disguise for the real truth of the uh, toxic, poisonous um, killing machine of the uh, geoengineering program. And uh, so this is extremely important to note. I do want to get into the silent weapons document and discuss that a bit with everybody so that you understand the basis and the foundation where all of these horrific plans have been told to us by the globalists in their words. These are uh, documents that uh, they have written that convey their plans. And the Silent Weapons Quiet Wars document is a policy. It was a 1954 Bilderberg policy written by the elites. It's only a 44-page document, and again, it is posted on StopTheCrime.net on the Source Doc tab. Uh, it, uh, the Silent Weapons document policy maps it all out. It maps out the covert uh, schemes and the fact that war was declared upon all people by this diabolical group of psychopaths, the elites. The silent weapons system is a type of biological warfare which attacks the vitality, options, and mobility of all individuals of a society by knowing, understanding, 
manipulating and attacking their sources of natural and social energy and their physical, mental, and emotional strengths and weaknesses. The silent weapon system is applied gradually. The public adjusts and adapts slowly over time to its presence and learns to tolerate it, its encroachment on their lives, until the pressure, the psychological pressure, now the economic psychological pressure, becomes too great and we have psychotic breaks, we have mass shootings and mass civil uh, disorder in our communities. The public cannot comprehend this weapon and cannot believe they are being attacked and subdued by a weapon. This is information in their policy. It is intentional. They are using frequencies. Ultimately, they want to reduce the global population by uh, 95%. When I spoke with Ted Turner two years ago, which you can find on YouTube, Ted the Terrible Turner, who funded the United Nations, who has this diabolical eugenics plan, he uh, said 95% of the American or of the global population must be eliminated because we're using too many resources, we're causing global warming, and there is going to be food shortages and water shortages because we simply can't sustain the number of people that we have on the planet. And he says it will be coming to America, and as a result of all of the shortages, there will be riots, there will be hunger, famine, and ultimately there will be cannibalism. He said this, again, go to YouTube, Ted the Terrible Turner. I'm recounting a venue up here in Northern California at a winery where he spoke to a, a, a group of inebriated people because half of those people did not even respond to what he said. Very, very important to understand. I know many of you are Dr. Bill's listeners on a regular basis, and of course you realize that they want it all from us. They want to take it all. Not only our private property, our land, they want our bodies too. They want it all, and they're taking it all stealthily and covertly. A very, very important quote uh, is, we'll know when our disinformation program is complete, when everything the American public believes is false. That was William Casey, CIA director, in 1981. Dr. Bill Deagle's radio show today, and we are talking about chemicals and biologicals and how they're being used on us in a variety of layers. Uh, it is a landslide of absolute fast and furious uh, uh, explosions upon us in every single area of our lives. We're not only seeing our cities and towns agreeing and signing on to ICLE, the International Council for Local Environmental Initiatives, or AKA the United Nations. Uh, here in Northern California, we are being regionalized. Just what the Iron Mountain documentary said would happen, where local government would become a regionalized government so we would not have the direct influence in our own cities. That's happening right now where they're converging 108 uh, cities into one Bay Area. And this is going to happen all over the country. They want 10 districts within the continental United States. And if you go to the Wildlands Project, you will see how right now uh, our farmers and our ranchers are being assaulted. People are being uh, fined and penalized by the U.S. Forestry, who is behind the Sudden Oak Death Syndrome. And the Sudden Oak Death Syndrome is also being uh, funded by a grant. And I can tell you that all of these agencies, the um, 
the uh, environmental uh, Im impact studies have all been uh, voided because, of course, this is a lawless, lawless coup. We are no longer the United States, and the sooner people understand that we are USA Inc., we have mega corporations, mega banks, the military industrial complex, and major universities all posing as a legitimate government on our behalf, and they are not. This is illegal lawlessness and corruption, and America has been taken already. The sooner we realize what our position is, the sooner we'll be able to function from that new reality and form opinions and ways in which we can then potentially work on solutions, but we have to move into the reality of our current existence. People look up in the skies at the Kim Trails, and the gov government says you don't see anything but contrails. Even your local officials, if you go to your local city council uh, meetings like we do, they look at you like you're crazy when we're being heavily chemtrailed overhead almost every single day here in Northern California, as I know all of you are as well. Uh, but the real concern that we have to understand with chemtrails is uh, that, of course, it's weather manipulation, it's massive pollution, it is changing the pH of our soil so that uh, it will only allow Monsanto seeds to grow. Bill Gates, of course, is involved with Monsanto as well as the geoengineering programs and the military, etc. And uh, you can go to ToxicSky.org and get more information and look at more links. But uh, uh, on top of the fact that it's blocking the sun, reducing the natural sunlight, which is increasing the molds that our oak trees are dying from, and, and uh, decreasing all of our vitamin D so we're all deficient, earlier bone, bone breakage, et cetera, massive, massive public health consequences. It's also superheating the ionosphere. They, of course, are creating earthquakes. They can steer hurricanes. They can manufacture and are now manufacturing weather events and droughts. People in the areas of those massive tornadoes encourage them to understand this is engineered. There has been some talk about many of those states uh, signing a legislation that was opposing United Nations Agenda 21 um, programs and that that could have been part of the reason that those states were targeted with the weaponized weather events. I leave that up to you to uh, take a look at that um, possibility. But of course, our health is eroding. Older people are going to die sooner uh, when we're sick. What may not have been fatal before will likely be fatal now. Uh, of course, uh, they are decreasing the food supply, um, and of course, also they can clear up the skies for events like the um, Olympics, uh, et cetera. But more importantly, the underbelly of this program is about the nanofibers that they've dumped on about 90-some percent of the global population. You can go to um, a toxicsky.org and take a look at the Morgellons information we have there, Morgellons, M-O-R-G-E-L-L-O-N-S. This is a secret attack on humanity. These are synthetic fibers that are now in everybody. They're in uh, children, pets, your food, your leaves. Um, they've even tested the sides of all kinds of material, and you can see these nanofibers. Uh, this is, of course, uh, considered a payload uh, delivery system, and ultimately this is going to uh, affect mind control. Ultimately what they are doing is this is transhumanism. They are transforming humans, and uh, they, want, um, uh, they want to have total control of our minds and our bodily functions. You may recall a year or so ago, there were a number of, of major media um, spokespeople behind microphones talking about weather or news events, and they started talking gibberish. Well, uh, that was showing us that that was phase two. We are all in phase one. Very important to understand that. We are in phase 
one. Phase two is a limited uh, percentage of the global population, but enough to where we have these uh, people that are under complete and total mind control in areas of decision. You have to wonder when uh, here in Sonoma County, you go before your uh, county board of supervisors, there are uh, 150 plus people protesting against the designs to add fluoride to the water supply, and the county board of supervisors votes five to zero to look at fluoridating the, the water supply. They didn't agree completely, but they're spending over, uh, well, close to $200,000 to investigate what it would cost to uh, have an infrastructure that would accommodate the fluoridation. And this is apart from all of the massive protesting that has been done here about that. So you really have to wonder uh, who is real at this point. Something very, very interesting if, for those of you that watch the movie The Hunger Games. There's a little known um, uh, lyrics in that and uh, it's called Rules, R-U-L-E-S. And I would recommend everybody go and listen to those lyrics. They uh, talk about electricity and wires and uh, controlling everything you do. And I can tell you that these nanofibers are synthetic and they are phase one and we're all in it. You can go to Radio Shack and buy a little magnifying glass with it has a light. They're about $10. Hold it up to your skin and you will see these long opalescent strands in your skin. It is... Um, it's nothing short of absolutely riveting. And we just need to know where we stand so we'll know what we need to stand for at this point and how we need to work on informing people. Uh, I want to, again, uh, emphasize the, um, the source documents. They tell us everything. They talk about what we're seeing now in our schools with sex education for five-year-olds. They talk about population control, the permission to have babies. Uh, they go on into eliminating private doctors. These, these um, source documents were written in the mid-60s. And all of this was told us then. It just sounded so insane that when the government said, oh, these are just hoax, people believed it. But it's all real. I would recommend starting with the Iron Mountain Report to understand they are coming after our guns. They will, according to the Iron Mountain Report, get our guns. Make no mistake about it. They've been planning this for a very long time. And the globalists are in position, writing the legislation to come and take our guns. that the gun issue is uh, not going to be our salvation in the United States. People keep saying, well, if they come to get the guns, there's going to be a bloody revolution. Yeah, there would be a bloody revolution because I will tell you, the weapons that the globalists have to use against us will annihilate us. They have technologies that are a couple hundred years behind our even knowing what those technologies are. And you can go to StopTheCrime.net and take a look at that NASA war plan that was found on the NASA website that has not only the U.S. Air Force involved, DARPA, the CIA, the FBI, Southern Command, Atlantic Command, but the entire corporate agencies that are running the show globally, how they intend on utilizing new technologies that are horrific, that they say are now completely legal forms of warfare. For example, they say that they will use mechanized sized dust, which will be distributed as an aerosol and inhaled into the lungs. The dust mechanically bores into the lung tissue and executes various pathological missions. Again, they say it's a new class of weaponry, but it is legal. They talk about how they will be uh, creating and directing 
a evolution. That is what transhumanism is all about. On page 66 of the NASA war plan, they say increasingly critical are human limitations and human downsides. Humans are too large, too heavy. Humans are too tender. We're too slow physically and mentally. We re require huge costs, and humans have rapidly decreasing to negative value. The very next page talks about robots in the large, saves lives, enhances cost, and is um, less of an impact to the environment. Extremely important on page 93, they're going to use media as massive psychological warfare. They say on page 93, exploit CNN syndrome. CNN, uh, the news network, of course, was set up by the CIA, and they are going to exploit that. Uh, turn off your television sets. Understand that this is all preconditioning, brain manipulating, psychological disinformation. And the two components of the globalist victory over us is creating uh, terror and fear and, of course, wars and massive disinformation. Don't be a victim to the misinformation. Understand that they are psychologically uh, creating blind sheep out of people. Um, they talk about on page 93 of the document that they will capture and torture Americans in living color on prime time. Well, they're doing that already. They also say terror attacks within the continental United States using binary biologicals, the takedown of critical infrastructure, the use of an EMP, which is an electromagnetic pulse, radiation frequencies against our brain. Yes, frequencies are going to be one of the main components in the new forms of, of warfare. They are fingerprintless, and uh, we don't see it, and uh, that is what's going to be used. Sadly, sadly, our air has been weaponized. Uh, our air has been taken over for private uh, corporate uh, profit, and it has been hijacked by the telecom industries, the utilities with the smart meters, Wi-Fi providers, the geoengineering, which is, of course, the chemtrailing, the mega corporations and the mega banks. They are exploiting the air for private use and profit while damaging and killing all of us with amped up artificial frequencies. Of course, the deforestation plan that is underway and all of the costly treatment schemes that they tell us we need then in order to cure the problems that they are creating. In fact, it's obviously much worse than all of that. Uh, these secret programs, uh, that they say we don't really see, which we do, we must expose. You must tell everybody that you know. It is time for everybody that does not yet have a chemical lobotomy to engage. Go on to the websites, print out flyers, or make your own flyers. Put magnetic bumper stickers on your vehicles. If you're driving down the road without saying something, you are silent. You are saying nothing. We now are the media. This is the only way way that we're going to be able to uh, allow people the opportunity to not be hit broadside with the uh, disaster that is just coming down upon us all so quickly. I know many of you feel it. It is real. It is a silent weapon, and it is being used stealthily in our midst right now. John F. Kennedy warned us within 10 days prior to his murder that w there were covert, stealth, monolithic secret societies that were, were getting ready to conscript everything, our science, our military, our economy, our technology, every aspect of everything. And uh, that ha is now what has happened. In the source documents, you will see that uh, the Illuminati say that victory is through violence and make-believe, which is propaganda. They say that they must remain invisible until the moment their strength is reached at such a height that no matter how cunning any of us will be, uh, that we cannot undermine their plans. And I can tell you something right now. They're telling us that out of this temporary evil that they uh, will create, that they're compelled to commit, they, there will emerge an unshakable new world order. Well, if we don't want to live 
uh, in a new world order, which many of us, of course, will not uh, graduate into. We will be uh, sacrificed with all of the toxins. I can only say that you must get the word out now. Uh, everybody keeps saying there's more of us than them. While that's true, sadly, the more of us are uninformed, chemically lobotomized. So why, while, again, while you're able to get out there and spread the information, you must. Also go to dataasylum.com, D-A-T-A-A-S-Y-L-U-M.com. You can also find that link uh, on stopthecrime.net under the NASA war document information. Link up to that to understand the details of the nanofibers that are now um, uh, creating a new human being. You will also then understand why Al Gore in his book, uh, which we attended his new uh, book review, which is called The Future, he talks about Worldwide digital communications, the Internet, computer revolutions have led to the emergence of the global mind, which links the thoughts and feelings of billions of people and connects intelligence, machines, robots, and sensors and databases. He says the balance of the global political, economic, and military power has shifted more profoundly than at any other time in the last 500 years from a U.S.-centered system to one with multiple emerging centers of power, from the nation states to private actors, and from political systems to markets. He says that Ever-increasing economic globalization has led to the emergence of what he labels Earth, Inc. So we're not only USA, Inc., which everybody can recognize by the takeover uh, of our country, of America, by all of the mega banks and mega corporations. We're now Earth, Inc., and he talks about that everything is going to be have a different relationship to capital, to labor, to consumer markets, and to national governments than in the past. Of course, the United States is being gutted, as he told us, and as we know, all of our manufacturing has, for years has stealthily been shipped offshore and to China. We have nothing to support an economy. We have no way in which to uh, earn wages now that will be outside of a service-based economy. Uh, the United States is being pillaged from within in, and the bankers are getting ready to do to the United States just what we all saw that they did in Cyprus and what they've done to other European countries, Greece, etc. We're in the crosshairs, and they want to take America down. They want to gut our wealth. They want to um, stifle every single thing about us. This is an absolute forced transformation of every single thing. And the uh, Wildlands Project map, as I discussed earlier, is going to relocate all citizens within the United States to human development zones. So if you don't believe what is being said, go to the movies. Many of the movies that we're seeing now, Oblivion uh, and um, many of the current releases are all realities. Go to StopTheCrime.net. Thank you for listening today. Please educate yourself. Please do the information advisements to all of your friends and put information on your cars and carry flyers everywhere you go. Thank you so much.